Having produced a variety of tones, and we may also say timbres or tone colors with oscillators, let us approach this subject now from another point of view. Timbre is a manifestation of the shape of an oscillating wave, of its waveform. That waveform determines the presence or absence of upper frequencies or overtones, whether harmonic, as in acoustic or live sounds, or inharmonic, as in combination tones. There's an important family of electronic devices called filters, which may be used to modify a sound in various ways. The tone controls in your home audio system are of this family. Treble controls affecting the upper register of sounds, bass controls the lower. The filters in an electronic synthesizer offer much more drastic sound control. One type of filter, for example, specifies the frequency of a cutoff point above which any sounds will be severely attenuated. To illustrate, let us use the white noise generator. Here it is again, unmodified. The sound of your TV set on a channel that is not receiving a broadcast signal. Remember, white noise consists of all frequencies in a more or less continuous band throughout the range of human hearing. One type of filter, called a low-pass filter, will modify the white noise according to the variable frequency of the upper cutoff point. Another type of filter, called high-pass, will modify any sound according to the variable frequency of a lower cutoff point. These filters may be used in combination upper and lower cutoff points specifying frequencies of the audible band. just the opposite, frequencies of a band which has been eliminated from the middle of a sound, so that we hear only what is above and below the cutoff points. Still another type of filter, called a filter bank, contains a series of band pass filters whose center frequencies are fixed every half octave or third octave throughout the audio spectrum. As the frequency of each band is fixed, what is variable here is the amplitude of each band. Let us connect the white noise to a third octave filter and listen. White noise, as we have heard, is a rather raw sound in its unfiltered state. But when filtered, it can be exceedingly useful in music, as it is in speech. For it is white noise we use to separate the vowel sounds in speech, our lips, tongue, teeth, and oral cavity shaping, filtering the noise. Our lips, t, 
ung, teeth, and oral cavity shaping, filtering the noise.